Greetings Aquarius and Aquarius Rising. This is your Western forecast for January 2024. There's a major emphasis on your 12th house that represents the unconscious, but also pulling deep within and retreating to study, to, um, to develop long range plans and goals behind the scenes, whether that's through education that you're studying to prepare for the future, or you're building a new business enterprise. Um, and that's the big focus. That's one of the big themes. But where I want to start is Mercury was retrograde the last half of December and on January the 1st, 2024, decision-making rational Mercury is now, go, is now direct. And it's going to be in Sagittarius moving forwards in your 11th house. Now, if you know any astrology, you might have heard that the two weeks after Mercury goes direct is the, sh is the shadow period. What that means is that when Mercury goes direct on January the 1st, it's basically not moving at all. It's at a standstill and it takes up to two weeks to get it back to its regular speed. Think of Mercury as the mind, the mental faculties, and when it's at a standstill, it's sluggish, it's stuck, or you're not as sharp or as quick. And it takes time for the Mercury to catch up the speed, for your mind to catch up the speed. But at least it's moving in the right direction, and the Mercury will be an optimistic Sagittarius in your 11th house. The 11th house with the Mercury could be a lot of correspondence and networking with friends, with associates, or really starting to make plans and think about your long range, your long range goals and aspirations. So that's the Mercury going direct. And then Jupiter went direct on December the 30th. Jupiter had been retrograde of the last four months of the year. Jupiter's all this promise and, um, and advancement and opportunity. And when, during the retrograde, it seems it gets delayed. What you were expecting is not as big of what you were hoping for. But now Jupiter is releasing its blessings and its promises, and it's going to be in Taurus in your fourth house sector through the end of May. So this first five months, um, 2024, expansive, fortunate Jupiter is now moving through your fourth house of home, family, and real estate. So there could be some really good news about real estate. In fact, maybe all of the 12th house is you studying or preparing, um, developing behind the scenes that could have something to do with um, real estate matters. But before I break all that down and get into more detail, if you enjoy these kinds of videos and would like to see more of them, click like and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can receive the latest postings. And if you go into the description box underneath the video, you'll find a link that takes you to my website where you can book an astrology reading or sign up for my two question offer. Now, the sun is in Capricorn in your shadow sector the first three weeks of every January. Then on January the 20th, it comes out of hiding or behind, uh, pulling from the back, you know, retreating and being more hidden of the 12th house and goes into Aquarius. Um, so that's the beginning of your, of your new yearly cycle. But transformational Pluto is at the last degree of Capricorn. The last degree can always be a lot of difficult transitions. Now, Pluto went into Aquarius the end of March, early June, 2023, then retrograded back into Capricorn. And now the first three weeks, Pluto is at the last degree of Capricorn before moving into Aquarius on the 20th and remaining there to the end of August. So January the 20th, the sun is coming out of hiding 
and going into your sign of visibility, new beginnings. At the same time, transformational Pluto um, is coming out of hiding and going into Aquarius. So there is this giving birth, got a little preview of it last end of March, going into early June. Now it's really intensifying, this, especially this January the 20th for those next four weeks. Now Pluto will be in Aquarius of all visibility and new beginnings, new confidence to the end of August. Um, then it retrogrades back into Capricorn for a couple of more, a uh, few more weeks. The end of November, it's back into Aquarius, remaining there for 20 years. This dance of Pluto from Capricorn to Aquarius happened 243 years ago. And I went into detail in that in my yearly forecast. Um, so it's like coming out of the shadows of the Capricorn and going into new visibilities and new beginnings. That Pluto going into your sun will be very empowering and very much of the beginning of a turning point. Um, so that's what you have to look forwards to. Um, but we also have Mars went into Capricorn in your 12th house. January the 4th till February the 12th. February the 12th, Mars goes into Aquarius and you are off and running, but, but more visibly. But Mars in Capricorn, it's the best sign for Mars the transit. Capricorn is the exalted sign for Mars. Um, that's because Mars can be too fiery, impatient, argumentative, um, and when it's in a weak sign, a weak sign where it can't control all that ego, tense, stress, and irritability of Mars. So when Mars is in Capricorn once every two years, the Capricorn is controlling and disciplining and focusing all that fiery energy to be really productive. But for Aquarius and Aquarius rising, that ambitious, productive Mars is in your 12th house, but since it's very favorable energies, um, you're, uh, you're accomplishing a lot of work behind the scenes, um, you know, developing your goals to be um, manifesting more, especially with Pluto going into Aquarius and then Mars going into Aquarius. Um, that's kind of the launching of this major new phase of your life. Now, Mars in the 12th, you may also, Mars can be very ego oriented. It's more productive in Capricorn, but being in the 12th house, doing a lot of work behind the scenes, developing a lot of projects um, before it, before they debuted. But often with Mars, you want, there's more of a desire to work alone as much as possible. Some of you, since the 12th house is the shadow, you may be working late into the night. Um, and maybe you have a day job and you're working late into the night to prepare this new project. Mercury, um, will go into Capricorn on January the 13th till February the 4th. Um, so there's, again, you're starting to really learn and prepare and plan, but not really ready to um, make the announcement. You see the new moon in Capricorn is on January the 11th in your 12th house. And the sun will leave Capricorn and the 12th house on January the 20th. However, the new moon in Capricorn on the 11th holds that, that retreating, developing behind the scenes energies to the next new moon on February the 9th. And this ambitious uh, Mars is in the 12th house working hard behind the scenes till February the 12th. So even though the sun and transformational Pluto is moving on the 20th of January into your first house of visibility and new beginnings, there's still a lot more to be 
developed, um, prepared, because that 12th house, because of the Mars and the new moon, is still impacting you into the first part of February. But, you're, but by the 20th, you are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, you're getting really encouraged, um, but you still have a lot of fine tuning to do. Now, Venus is that social, loving, creative energy. Venus is in Sagittarius, December the 29th till January the 23rd. January the 23rd, the Venus goes into Capricorn till February the 16th. I would predict for most of you that when sociable Venus goes into the, sh the shadow sector, the sector of retreating, that you are so close to making a major new redirection, launching a new business, um, you could be so busy that there's no time to really socialize the way you used to with Plut with Venus moving into that shadow sector, January the 23rd. But the first 23 days, the Venus is in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is outgoing, it's friendly, it's adventurous. And the Venus will be in the 11th of friendships, of socializing, of networking. And in fact, Mercury's in Sagittarius the first 13 days. So the first 13 days of January, Mercury's in Sag, Venus is in Sag. This is really favorable for expanding your social circle, making new friends, new contacts. Um, now, that Venus in Sagittarius will continue to January the 23rd, a time of being more festive, uh, more enjoying life, uh, hanging out with friends. But we've got to keep in mind everything I've said, and I touched on it briefly earlier, is Jupiter, that planet of prosperity and opportunities. Jupiter, when it is now direct in your fourth house of home, family, and real estate, the first four months uh, first five months of 2024. So there's these huge changes to new ways of making money, but the first month or so of this year, you're doing a lot of this preparation and your due diligence and development that Jupiter in the fourth. Now, that could be real estate. Um, but that could also be fourth house of family, that the family might be there to really help and support you. Now, that new moon on the 11th is keeping your attention on really developing this project. Two weeks later is the full moon. Full moon, everything's revealed. Full moon, a lot of things come to light. And the full moon will be in Leo, January the 25th. So a couple of days around the 25th, the full moon is in Leo, in your seventh house of marriage, partnerships, um, customers. Um, but I think that's the beginning of you, because the sun and Pluto has already moved into Aquarius on January the 20th, and the full moon that deals more with partnerships and contracts is on the 25th. You're getting so close to, um, to giving birth to this significant new chapter in your life. Um, now, this is part of the forecast where I like to examine how all these energies can impact your physical body, your relationships, your business. When it comes to your body, Mars in your shadow sector, um, you could be exhausted 
because of all the work you're accomplishing. Mars in Capricorn is actually a good thing for really developing long range goals and plans. But you could be up late at night getting not enough sleep and you could be t really tired with the Mars in Capricorn. But then when the Pluto goes, the, the Pluto, when the Sun and Pluto go into Aquarius, Aquarius can also represent your physical body. Your body is starting to go through a big change. Um, but I think that's all part of this exhaustion. Um, but the Sun, Pluto, you're not going to get weaker um, and burn yourself out because you're getting so close to all this exciting new energy that's going to amp you up. Relationships, as I said, Venus in Sag in the 11th of friendships, Sag is outgoing and adventurous, Venus, all that sociable energies. Um, so there's a nice balance the first 23 days because you're working really hard behind the scenes to develop, maybe it's studying to pass a big task, get your degree, or maybe you're doing a startup, or maybe you're trying to launch a major new online um, uh, business. But you're still getting support from friendships. That's the 11th house of friendships. You could still be being supported or socializing with friends. It's just that when Venus goes into your retreat uh, sector, your shadow sector on the 23rd, that is when everything is getting so close to being launched that you're, I think you're really very busy, um, really obsessing from that end of January into early February. Um, so there's really no, you just no time for relationships, unless with Venus in the 12th house, um, you're keeping a relationship very low key or very private. Maybe you're not doing all this socializing with friends, but if you have a significant other, maybe very privately, that's the 12th house, um, that you are, you know, um, you're enjoying the company. And then of course, to wrap up the business, um, there's some big, there's some kind of new direction that is being the beginning of a big turning point, and you could get help from family, or is this help through real estate um, or anything that deals with the land and agriculture? or home furnishings, that's all that fourth house, that you are developing something. Um, and it may be as simple and as basic as trying to finish school and get that degree so you can begin a new chapter in your life. I wanna thank you for watching. If you like information on how to book an astrology reading or to sign up for my two question offer, visit my website at gardino.co. That's .co. Until next month, be safe and well.